This is a test of the Doll Broadcasting Service, also known as DBC. <laughs> I am ridiculous. Okay, anyway, <laughs> this is my third time trying to start this video because technical quality and the lighting is poor today because it's snowing and ugly out and it's dark, so we have to contend with overhead lights and a standing lamp, which is pretty crap, so I'm sorry about the lighting. Anyway, tonight we are going to look at some happy mail that I received, which is Shawnee and her friends. And Shawnee is a doll line that was released in 1991 by Mattel. And it's like an offshoot of Barbie. Um, they didn't become interconnected until the Shawnee line was discontinued, I think in 93 or 94. But prior to that, Shawnee was like her own universe. Um, she is a fashion doll. And she and her friends were African-American dolls, and they were made so that way children of black backgrounds could feel more inclusive because Barbie and her friends, even though she had Asian and uh, Hispanic friends, Teresa and Kyra, it was basically a white doll line. You know, everyone had long poker straight hair and, you know, fair skin and blue eyes and everything. And this was supposed to be a doll line that was made to make children from an African background feel as if they were being represented. And I think that these dolls are beautiful, personally. Um, I remember growing up and seeing kids, like, in my building who had them, but I never had them growing up. And it's not that my parents wouldn't get me African dolls. I guess it just didn't work out that way because I did have black Barbies growing up. But I always wanted these girls. And I think maybe it might have been a price point at one point. Because um, my mom didn't have a lot of money when we were growing up. And I guess maybe for her they were expensive. Um, but I have the money now. So I treated myself to the original three dolls, which is Shawnee, Nichelle, and Asha. And they come in reversible outfits, and they, um, well, I'll show you the gimmick, like, in a later video. This is just gonna be, like, a box opening video. Um, so the first one that I pulled out of the box is the boyfriend, Jamal, and he is actually pretty cute. His face is the Steven face sculpt. Um, I'm gonna take him out of the box. He's already been deboxed, and... You know, if you don't know this, I have a thing with deboxing dolls, especially vintage dolls. Like, I don't normally do it. But he was already taken out. Um, so what we're going to do is we're just going to pop him out of here. Um, I always get my dolls used, obviously. I mean, this doll is, what, 32 years old, something like that. So, I mean, you know, obviously it's going to be used vintage dolls. And I, I, I just like dolls from the previous eras. Oh my god, this lighting is terrible. Okay, so as you can see here, he is very smooth. He's got some nice uh, muscles over here. His skin has that like oily feel to it that older dolls have. Um, but it's not like gross, it's not like sticky, but it is kind of like smooth, like... Um, Oh, and he's cold, too, poor thing, because it's snowing outside, and they were sitting, like, in a box outside of my house. I didn't know. But um, this is Jamal, and he is the third version of him. There are two others. There's the first one, and then there's another beach set that he was involved in also. This is the second beach set, if I'm not mistaken. This is um, the Beach Streak series, and the line with that is they would have copper highlights in their hair. And he does have that in his hair, even though it's not rooted. It's um, it, it's molded to his head, and it's very textured. It feels like, even though it's not, like, flocked or anything, like, you can feel that it's supposed to have, like, curl and definition. It's, like, a different kind of, uh, uh, a d just a different type of hair than, like, Ken normally would have, which is cool. And um, later on, after Shawnee was discontinued, this doll face sculpt, was used for the Steven doll, who was the boyfriend of Christy, and they are the African-American dolls from the 90s. Um, Christy may have been released before the 90s. I don't know her release year. That may have even been late 70s, early 80s, because they were making black dolls by then, obviously. I think um, Black Barbie herself is from 1970, something like that. Um, 
I'm not very, <laughs> I'm not very up on uh, doll history, but uh, later on, after um, Curtis, who was the first black boyfriend, quote unquote, discontinued, they made Black Hen, and then they made Jamal for this series, and then Steven was the last doll to have a name before they all became like fashionistas and whatever, and they just had numbers. Anyway, so this is him. I gotta be straight with you guys. I don't like his beach outfit. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, you know, it's awesome, but I just don't see this this guy running around on Orchard Beach in the Bronx wearing this. Like, <laughs> I just don't see it. <laughs> and I say that because I live really close to Orchard Beach. So, he also came with these white sneakers, which don't go with the aesthetic at all. But he came with this really cool Uber 90s uh, casual outfit, which is hilarious. So got a windbreaker and it's got track pants so I will definitely be changing Jamal into that but he's a handsome doll regardless like um he looks exactly like my Palm Beach doll that I have um and I've had him since 2001 this is basically <laughs> the same doll from the textured hair down to the smile so he's actually really cute so I like him a lot so that is Jamal, um, and like I said, I believe that his hair will also develop streaks because I can kind of see it in my lighting, even if you guys can't see it. He does have copper streaks in his hair, like the girls do. Um, I don't have any of the girl beach dolls. I got the first series dolls, which is even better in my opinion because they're beautiful. <laughs> oh my god. Um, so let's see who's next in here. I haven't opened this yet. I just opened up the wrapper around it. Um, okay. Oh, wow, she packed them in these really nice, um, they're like pencil case bags. How cute. Gorgeous gown becomes a bathing suit and a cover-up. So this is the first girl. This is the main character. This is Shawnee, and her name is Swahili, and I think it means beautiful or life. I forgot. I, I read it somewhere, but. So this is the bottom part of her gown. Um. It wraps around, but then it also is reversible, and it becomes a beach cover, like, uh, for her bikini top. You'll see it. It's really cool. I'll do the videos where I um, display how their outfits work later on, but for now, I just want to, like, show the dolls. Okay. Ooh, she's so pretty. Hi, Shawnee. Welcome home. <gasps> Look at that face oh my gosh guys she is way beautiful so they come with um a jewel that you could put in their hair around their waist or even make it into a necklace and I don't know that these are the original shoes they might be I'm not sure they look kind of modern to me but regardless they're still really pretty and she is wearing these long dangling gold earrings and you're gonna see a lot of gold um interspersed throughout this whole doll line because Mattel did research on African culture and gold is a commodity everywhere, but it's also very important in African culture, like genuine African, not, um, you know, Americanized. So there's a lot of gold interspersed throughout all of their outfits, and that's what she's wearing. So this is the shiny face sculpt, and she would also become the basis of Christy later on. In fact, she looks very much like Tropical Splash Christy, who I want to get as well. Um, I always loved that doll, and this girl, Diamond, I knew growing up had it. And whenever we would go to her house, I always wanted to play with her. <laughs> she was my girl. I loved her. So, Shawnee has beautiful golden-colored eyes. Um, she's wearing golden green. Or is that blue? It's like a teal greenish-blue eyeshadow. She has on light blushing and she has beautiful pinkish lips and she's very, very pretty. And she is, there's like three different skin complexions. So she's considered mahogany. Um, so she's like the middle darkness and she is gorgeous and oh, she's just so pretty. Ooh, I can't wait. I'm going to put her on display with my other dollies. Um, yeah. So that one is Shawnee, and like I said, I'll do a more in-depth video about them later. Oh, here we go. This one's my favorite. This is Nichelle, and 
to me, she really, like, has the most ethnic-looking face. Oh, look, and there's a card, too. Hold on. I just noticed this. Look how pretty. And it says, thank you for supporting toys and things. And the funny thing about that is that's also my username on Makari. And she spells hers almost the same way as I do. So that was kind of random that I came across her. So thank you, fellow toys and things. <laughs> um, I'll put her username in the seller description because she has some great, I mean, video description because she has some great stuff. So anyway, um, thank you for the pretty card. Okay, so this is Michelle, and she is, like, my favorite out of the series because I just love her face. Ugh. Now, she's considered Coco because she's the darkest, and if you look closely, like, she has a very, very ethnic face. Like, she's got this pretty rounded nose, um, just everything about her. Her lips are a little fuller. She has a more stoic expression than um, Shawnee does, and she just looks stunning like I don't <laughs> I don't know I just I freaking love her I think she's beautiful and her gimmick is that her outfit becomes um a ballet tutu underneath and I love I love this like the colors and everything this is like a beautiful magenta color and it's mixed with the gold and she has the same earrings that Shawnee does and oh my god she's just stunning and she's got this rich rich black hair it's so curly and it's not like um frizzy curls it's just like long voluminous wavy curls and she's just so pretty and she has some braids on the side of her hair oh I love her and she's wearing her ballet slippers and ribbons um I just think she's stunning and her gold ring and she's just I've always liked this one I think because she's so different from the dolls that um I grew up with because like I said I had dolls of different backgrounds but she actually looks like a woman of African origin, and I just, I fell in love with her, and I've always wanted her, she was always my favorite, so I'm glad that I have her, welcome home, honey, Mwah. you are going to be very loved, <laughs> um, so there's two more in this set, oh, here we go, this one always makes me laugh, this is the other Jamal doll that came with this set, and he is amazing, he is wearing, <laughs> this completely ostentatious gold outfit from the gold loafers to this amazing paisley shirt <laughs> and it also becomes a tuxedo for like more formal attire so like this is reversible you see his shirt underneath and he's also cool because he has a mustache can you see it ah oh, hello oh you're so handsome so you can see the difference um they clean shaved him for the second uh, and the second and the third release of the Jamal doll, but I kind of like him with the mustache. I think he looks neat. <laughs> and he's also, he feels like thicker, like his legs feel thicker and he just feels like he has a bigger body, but that could also just be because of, um, his clothes obscuring the shape of the doll, but he's very handsome and <laughs> he can date any of the girls and, you know, he's Ken size, so he can wear Ken clothes, but he looks really neat, so I don't think I would even change him, because Ken's clothes can be kind of dorky, and he looks like he would be, like, immaculately dressed all the time. <laughs> and he even comes with this attache, and inside is his cummerbund and his tie. He has a metallic gold tie. This guy means business. <laughs> and he's really neat. And um, he has all of his accessories, um, which is inclusive of these cardboard cutouts. But I wouldn't cut these out because they're old and awesome, and I don't want them to get lost. So that is Jamal, and <laughs> I can't I can't help but laugh. I love this guy. He's just so neat. <laughs> and then the final one in this set that I got is Asha. She is the lightest skin complexion of the um, of the doll series. And she is considered cinnamon. So, she's very pretty too. Look at her, she's fabulous. She reminds me of Florence Ballard because of her coloration. Um, so she's got like golden brown hair with um, some auburn in it. Like you can see some brown in there. Um, 
and some red and she's just really really pretty and her skin complexion is the lightest one so she is uh she looks like she could bi be biracial but i don't believe that she's supposed to be i just think that um we have to remember not everyone who comes from african origins looks a certain way like there's different skin complexions and everything so she is just stunning. Um, I have another doll that I showed about two months ago, the Midnight Gala. If you remember, or if you look back, it's the same face sculpt as that doll. And she's gorgeous. Like, I, I just can't get enough of her. She's so pretty. She's probably my second favorite. Um, I love Shawnee, too. Obviously, I love them all. But I always thought, I guess because um, Nichelle and Asha were so unusual looking, like, they excited me more, especially Nichelle. Um, but Asha is my second favorite. And I just think she's a total babe. Like, look at this outfit. This looks like a Kelly Bundy outfit. Like, sort of. Without the pretty jewelry, because Kelly was trashy. But <laughs> but it's just such a pretty dress, and it's a good complexion, a good color for her complexion, because it's pink, orange, and yellow. And um, I don't remember what her outfit gimmick is, but we will figure that out in the later video, where I do a more in-depth um you know, show and tell for each one. I'll, I'll make a separate video for each doll. But yeah, so that's my newest addition. Well, my newest additions to my doll series. And I hope you guys enjoyed it and that you learned something about the Mattel world. And I thank you for watching. Check me later. Bye.